Welcome back to the channel. It's Asher season, and we're about to jump in. We got our defense result with our temporary defense, so that'll be fun to check out after this. But let's see what we're matched up against first. Hopefully, I don't make any mistakes today. Fortuna. Oh, that's a very nice Sonya. Very nice Sonya. Oh my gosh. Scary. Very scary. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 75 attack? Oh my gosh, a life and death. This is what I kind of wanted to do with my Sonya. I kind of wanted to do a Glacies build to be honest, but then I didn't get Time Spulse on the Forma, so I didn't get a chance to do that. We also have a Duo Peony who's going to be given that extra attack. Grand Scratcher. Okay, so she's helping Sonya out with that for sure. Does anyone else have their specials up? Okay, Odd Tempest. Sturdy Impact. That's kind of scary. Um, Grand Sash Restore. Okay, that's important. So is Odd Recovery. This doesn't do anything. We have a Attack Resistance Reinhardt. Okay, so he's kind of fast, but not too fast. Okay, I think I can hit and run this with Yuri, actually. So that's what we're going to try. Like Essentially, Yuri should be able to get rid of several characters on turn one. I just need to make sure that I have everybody in the right position. Okay, I don't think you guys saw that, but the game lags super hard and like I went to attack the building with Layla and it froze. Luckily she still attacked, but that was what really nerve wracking because it kind of destroys the whole strategy if I can't kill on turn this one. Will be fun. So let's take out Peony. She's a massive problem because she has ground Step orders aside. and she also has the orders on the dance. so. Very important she's yeah. getting rid of. And then we also need to move Regan. Where do I want Regan at? I think over on this side. We'll move Altina closer as well. Careful. Careful. Let's find and we'll happiness. break that. We're going to need as much room to maneuver as possible. Okay, there's the turn two. There's the yep, isolation on Mirabilis. So we need to yes. take out Nana. Nana's going to be problematic because of the Restore and the Odd Recovery. You've had your fun. She does get a little bit of damage in. You've had your fun. Unfortunately, it's not enough for Wings of Mercy. Wings of Mercy would be really nice to have. Okay, now we back up. Um, Let's see. So Reinhardt should move towards Regan, I believe. Trust. Smart move. I love you. I won't lose. I'm not sure. It's either Regan or As you say. Layla. But either way, it should be in that direction. Let's find and happens. Mirabilis should head straight down. Careful, careful. So let's get uh, Fjorm right here so that she'll turn off the dancer. And we can also heal Yuri. Eternal happiness. Next, we need to put ourselves in a way that we can start sniping units effectively. Right. I would like dragon effectiveness as too, too, but I don't really have that option. Um... So yep. let's move up and get people into Smart move. aggressive positions to snipe. Oh, she rallied. Okay, so we still have Marabolos off, which is very important. Now, how do we kill things, I guess is the right. question. That doesn't go Over well. Here? That doesn't go well either. I love about you. that one. That one's actually better somehow. That's ridiculous. Okay. So there's no orders here, but she does have the extra movement. So that's something to be wary of. Uh, it'll probably be more difficult to turn her off unless she heads straight down. But there shouldn't be any like movement shenanigans. And we do need to get pots as well. Though that might be secondary. I have to figure that one out. This will be fun. Taking out Reinhardt's probably a good idea. Yeah. I think we should get rid of Reinhardt first. Where to, friend? So let's do that. You've had your fun. He's the only one really causing the massive threat range. Look at that damage. 44 damage. Step aside. We are Wings of Mercy now. Which means that I could use that for some kind of Regan play. I'm not sure what though. Um if I put him here, he should be safe. Yeah. I don't think anyone can reach him. So let's put him there. 
Let's find happiness. And heal Layla. But if I do do that, then I lose any chance really of uh, turning off Mirabilis, I believe. Smart move. Who has the lowest defense? You have my it will be done. It's technically Fjorm. So she should move towards Fjorm. Yeah. And if I dance there, I think that she careful. actually gets the careful. kill. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to lose that much HP and not be able to turn off the dancer. Huh. So I could heal with Let's find happiness. Fjorm. Move right. Layla here to attack. Smart move. Or did she just die? As you say. Oh, she just dies. Consider it done. Smart move. Wait, no. She with the heal, she'll live though. Right. right? Let's find out. I love you. Cause Altina can pull her back if we need to. Yes, dear. Let's heal there. As you say. Cause she can win there. Uh, Altina, I need to like remember this range though because. I feel like Mirabilis is gonna be the one that sneaks up on me. So she can get here, which is insane, and attack. So if I attack Smart from here move. and then pull with back with certainty. Altina, we should be safe. Over here? So let's As do that. Say. I could also just put Altina there and have Altina fight Mirabilis. Um, how good of an idea is that? <laughs> I'm over here like. The one that talks about how good Altina is, and then I'm over like, mm. let's see. So it would be 48, 52 attack. You have my trust. 21 twice is what it should be. Unless I'm overlooking something. Consider it done. Am I overlooking anything? I swear. Oh, oh, oh! I am overlooking something. I am overlooking something. It's turn three. So that means she gets plus three attack, right? Oh, I almost overlooked it. 45, 51, 55. You have my trust. That's 24 twice. She would die. Right. Oh, see, it's good that I, I paid attention. <laughs> oh my gosh, Altina could have died to Mirabilis. That would have been so embarrassing. That would have been the ultimate embarrassment. You're a slippery one. Okay. Do I want to bring her backwards or forward is the question. So I could bring her lose. this way to the right and then she can maybe can help get this pot. And then I can move Altina With up and yes. give her the dragon yeah. effectiveness. Let's do that. Consider it what done. Is your design? Okay, there we go. Rally again. Okay, so we did get the turn off there. Can we kill Saros? Okay, we can kill Saros. Smart move. We can kill Mirabilis. I won't lose. Uh, we still have Kanto as well. I want to move this way. This will be fun. To get to the spot. As you say. So we'll do this. We'll take out Mirabilis. Yeah. Then we'll Consider it take done. out Saros. See, Altina's good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Saros is only doing 20 times 2 to her. It's fine. It's fine. Altina's great. And then we need to I won't attack this. Cancel over here. So we can get that one. And then Layla can get that one. Yeah. Pull back Altina. Careful. We can actually just Careful. grab it like that. Awesome. Be done. Okay. We got two more turns still after this. So then Yuri can grab this. Where to, friend? And I don't know, he can move there. It doesn't matter. Right. And then Layla can take out Sonya. And there we go. That's the match. Awesome. For my life. Yuri is such a good unit. Like, there's so many different ways to use him too. I saw um someone I follow on Twitter named Lindus Forever. He was been using uh, Yuri for like with an AoE build, and it's like super solid. And I'd love to do it, but it requires Raphael um, so that he can get the minus one cooldown, and then he also has to run infantry pulls. But the problem is that my Raphael is minus HP, so <laughs> it doesn't work, unfortunately. But that, that looks like a pretty cool build too. It looks really uh, fun to play. Okay, let's get to our defense results. And yeah, we got the one success. So I did make one more mistake when making this map. 
Uh, and it'll be pretty obvious, so I'll just let you see. So we have a uh, plus one Edelgard, plus two Ragan, plus zero Lilith, plus one Plumeria, plus eight Naga, wow. And then my boy Ephraim. I'm kind of confused why they have attack defense push, but that's fine, I guess. If you don't have a source of healing either, though. Well, let's see what they do. So they pretty much are going to run up and they're going to kill Odor. Which I think is going to be a common thing we're going to see pretty much as long as we have this map active. It's just a smart thing to do, really, to get rid of him so you don't have to worry about him. And But in all honesty, it's actually a trap. So if you spend the time to go kill Odor, which is not that hard to do with Ragan, I guess. Um, what it does is it hopefully buys the turn one. Because this team's weakness is actually most pronounced on turn one. Uh, Ephraim, or Fjorm doesn't have her Ice Mirror up, and Gustav doesn't have his Pavis up because Hardy Fighter hasn't had the chance to activate. So they're actually much weaker on turn one. So by having Odor there just as a distraction, it really helps um, let them set up, essentially. I'll get you going. That's kind of why in the other map I was making, I had the threat on the left side, because it made it so that they couldn't easily get in on turn one uh, without acknowledging the threat. Okay, there's the damage. Okay, there's, there's their turn two. So what they're essentially going to do is they're just going to break that because I messed up and didn't put the fort in the right place. You going? And the reason why this is a big mistake is because Thrasir is not protected by Gustav. <laughs> so she gets a free kill on Thrasir to air and opens up the pretty much opens up the block. But the good thing is, is that they actually moved in. And I think that was a mistake. They should have moved backwards. So that the team Let's started moving out. So instead, now everyone's just chilling here. And Fjorm's actually going to be a complete beast. And just fight Elgard face on. Like, look at that. 2 HP, right? And then she goes up to 9. I was having a heart attack at this point. But then... Sephiroth's just going to, like, chill there pretty much now. Uh, odd Recovery goes off. She gets healed. Then the Restore goes off. And she's injured? pretty much back to full health. Missing just a little bit. And then she's going to fight Edelgard again, <laughs> do a whopping 2 damage, and charge her bonfire, unfortunately. Don't know why they have Plumeria back here. I feel like they would have been a lot better off having Plumeria next to Edelgard to get extra like attacks in or even debuff, and then just repositioning her out so the transformation stays up. Let's fix you up. But instead, they do this. So Fjorm's just going to keep fighting Elgard and taking bonfires to the face. Almost dying, but then barely living. Dude, this is better in my opinion. They get Plumeria, they have the debuff going now. So then they don't attack. So I'm guessing they didn't get the kill there, right? Obviously. Hardy, Hardy Fighter is so insane. Like, the amount of damage you reduce with it is just bonkers. Yeah! So they pretty much just sit here and beat up Fjorm. Fjorm just takes the beating for everybody and hangs out. A dream to base. This team is pretty, like, toxic, to be honest. Like, stall balls are just annoying to deal with. I hate dealing with stall balls. And so by doing this, I'm probably putting it out there that I'm going to run into one and be annoyed, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Storm fighting Metal Guard again. Perish. Taking whopping damage, heals up a bit. Everybody rallies. And that's it. So the team did work out. I did make that swap, so now that they can't do that for free, essentially they have to come fight Duma, who is going to get saved by Gustav, so... Hopefully that will work out. We'll probably use this until the catapult can be leveled up. So when that happens, we'll switch over to the other defense and see how that one works. This one might just be better, honestly. I don't know. But to be honest, the reason why I'm using this defense isn't because I like love using toxic defense or anything. I just don't like making defenses. Like I honestly dislike them. And what's great about this team is I can just swap out Thross here for whoever. I can put like Saros there. I can put Mirabilis there with like a rally and then it just like kind of lets the team be the team and I don't have to constantly switch blessings. I don't do anything like it's low maintenance defense. And so that's why I'm going with it. Okay. That's going to be ether rates for today. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe. 
and also drop a comment telling me how your ether raids are going and if you've run into any toxic defense walls i'm sorry if you have i'll catch everyone tomorrow bye